Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video contains things that I tinker with throughout the day. For step-by-step -step detailed instructions of those tasks, you can click on the link in the comment section below. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. This video also has tips and tricks that I've learned over the years. So, thank you very much for watching. Got the downpipe back from Red Baron. Got the bung in there. Looks like that's right. Man, they did it right. Need to get the spacer off of here that the O2 was in. I'm going to put the uh, freaking, what's that called? Wide band there and the O2 here. Then we're going to plug that hole on the pipe we're going to put back on the C70. So let's get cracking. Get some uh, PB Blaster on this thing. Try to get this out of here. After a few hours, we got this C70 exhaust on Red Baron. About to do the tip back there and we'll be done. No more exhaust leak. Maybe even a better sound. I used the C70 back. Uh, hooks right there however that leans the muffler on the frame of the car so I'll probably go get one from an 850 so we're gonna let this down probably go get my computer do a fresh data log on it send that into the tuner and try to get this thing a uh, better tune got red bearing on the prowl boy AFR looks a lot better since we got this exhaust fixed. Running a little on the rich side mostly, but we're going to do a data log to send them for a tune, get that straight. But man, handling is superb. New exhaust sounds a little better, a little louder like Andrew likes it. And uh, just taking it for a spin. Got a squeaky steering wheel collar. Let's get that taken care of. Put some trim on the inside and the top of this. Oh yeah, merging quick and easy. It's like my favorite hill in the world. A little bit of boost, a little bit of pulling action up here. We're almost at 15 pounds. Man, these cars love climbing this hill. And Red Baron can handle the curves, boy. And then you got people parking in the slow lane. Need to check the washer fluid. Got the parking brake on. Got the AC on. Got the connection going. I had to change my com port. So I'm gonna start the recording. Drive this car back to the house. Uh, show the data dash. There it is, people. Reading the data and recording it. Shoot, I guess I can undock the data dash, run it down here, still recording, I'm going to go ahead and drive it back to the house, send the log to Vast Tuning. idle at a light the computer is reading 16.1 to 16.8 look like we still dripping water on the floor over here so I'm gonna have to open up that compartment remove that fan and see what's going on in there here's the uh, wide band sitting at idle And here 
there's the computer showing the wide band sitting at idle. Not sure why there's so much difference between the computer and the wide band gauge. We're going to change the fuel filter first thing in the morning and see if that changes anything. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.